Welcome along to another Makita restoration video. In this video, I'm going to try and make a multi-tool work out of the two I have here. Um, this one, the speed control is, as you can see, that's seized on this one and the same on this one. When you plug the battery in, it kind of works but nothing happens at this end. And this one, that's all that happens. And then it just goes red light and then shuts off totally. And you can't get to do anything and it locks up. And that's it. So, we're going to pull these apart and see if we can have a look and figure out if we can make one work out of the two we have here. Start with this one, this one looks a little bit newer. This is the MT50, uh, quite a standard multi tool. So we'll have a look and see if we can get these work one out of the two working at least. Um, Got one of these, this might be useful for you if yours is packed up uh, and you're in a pinch and you need to fix one. Never taken one of these apart before. So Okay, so in here we have our overcurrent shut off. On the Makita, this will connect to the battery by this yellow wire here. And if you're pulling too much current from the battery and the batteries are getting too hot, this here will shut off. This is looks like um, also it's got a resistor built into it to resist the load that you've got set on the switch here. That's just a standard potentiometer right there. That's good. Okay, so which is a standard flick switch. So pretty easy so far. How do we get this? Here, so I just dropped a small metal pin there. It's come from somewhere. I think that'd come out of this, if I'm honest. Start taking this end apart. Let's see what we've got in this gearbox. There's that gearbox. Can't open it up, it's Allen keys on there, so we'll do that in a minute. It's a bearing shaft. Okay, so that 
I'm just interested to see if we hook a battery up to this with the gearbox disconnected what we get going on so that's quite interesting and that was um, going as it should so it looks to me like the fault is down in this gearbox So we're going to put this aside for the minute we'll come back to that let's have a look at this gearbox looks like we've got three allen keys seems to uh, spin so it seems to spin nothing seems to happen on this end oh till the light something for a second then but nothing after that. okay so that bearing's been pressed in there oh hang on a minute once we clean this up Two more does not fit it. Let me just see on top of that. Thank you. Looks like it's just going to go in, but it just doesn't have enough purchase on it. I reckon if you can undo that, that allows this shaft to slide out. gearbox and where our fault is which doesn't surprise me considering this is what's taking the force as you can see it's quite a chunky thing you could probably order a new one of these it's bonus material spend a little bit of time and uh, Second one here. took the gearbox apart so on the shaft here you can see there that just oscillates very slightly offset it's got a very slight offset so you can see that just as it goes around and in here looks like that shaft goes into the hole in there and remove the gearbox and then I guess that would be if it was the motor this oh, screw that is looks more like a somehow attaches to what's in there it's just a chewed up Phillips don't quite know how um, 
Um, yeah, that was uh, that snapped off inside, so that's obviously why this wasn't working. So all this needs really is in a gearbox. Nice one. Um, not even a new gearbox, just that one part that's just snapped off inside there. But I wouldn't know where you'd get one of those from. So you'd probably have to buy a new part. It's got a part number on it, so. Stops. So, take the gearbox off this one. Easier to replace this part. Can replace the whole unit. Just undo the end. Four bolts. This comes off. Still the new one. Do the four bolts up. Save the price of a whole new multi-tool. For the price of a gearbox. Yeah, that's what had broken in this one. So there you go, a little bit of bonus footage. Okay, so that seems to have a fault in sight. Gearbox. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there. That's definitely vibrating. Okay. So. Looks like this gearbox is good. This gearbox is faulty. Something inside this is broken. And this. Okay, so I found a problem and how to fix it. So, one gearbox. It's in pieces. If you look in there, see that part moves, but it's broken. Well, these parts here come out of this gearbox. But, see this cam lobe, this bearing, this bearing here is good, this cam lobe, it's good, then, if you look inside this gearbox, you can see what these broken parts are, and these parts here, sticking up, I do the oscillating, so, broken ones, Broken gearbox. Then this gearbox, it's got the working parts in it. See here, this it spins. If you look at that bearing, this bearing is completely collapsed on itself, and it is not moving at all. So this is the gearbox. It was kind of working. But look at the state of that bearing. It's completely rounded. So it's for kind of clamshells, it's rounded itself off. So that can go with that gearbox. Whereas this one, which is not totally broken, and this one, which works. I'm going to look in here, and this is just pushed in with a seal, and then that backing plate actually holds it all together. So, I'm going to move some of the grease around, put this back together, we'll put this back in, and we'll see how we get on. So 
don't know if the camera's even picking up that movement. I don't think it is. I think it's too, uh, it's too fast for it to see it. I think that was moving too quickly for the camera to see it there but it's definitely oscillating so I'd say that's working I've never used one of these myself before um, I might just put it all to pieces and give it a clean up I don't know if I can be bothered to be honest I think this is a tool that I'm never going to use just thought to see if I could fix it, just because we've been given it, and it's what we do it, we find it, we fix it, we restore it, we build it. Just goes to show that not everything you think is broken and faulty needs to go in the bin. I think I'm just going to put this back together. Call it good. So we have this small pin here and this uh, spring. I'm pretty sure they came out of this little slot just there. And these I want to uh, adjust this. I think the reason that got stuck is because it's rusty. So it's crap in there. So there we go, we made a one good multi tool out of two broken ones. That one seems to have a motor issue for the way it. Uh, the way it seems to have stopped So this here is obviously designed to uh, help dampen some of that vibration from the battery. It's a good idea. Stops the battery from buzzing around.
give them another little dampener here for the battery. It's a bit of a weird little thing, but it goes in here anyway. Power tools here. Let me screw you all off. Reroute the LED wiring. And then let's get this one here. A little light sits in the end, like so. The wiring just follows the casing around. He's kind of picking up a little bit slowly. So there we go. Fixed the free Makita multi tool. What did I do with the bolt at the end of it? So there you go. One good one out of two bad ones. It's not bad. Um, Check out my other videos, please. Uh, I do lots like this. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.